everyone welcome to walks here today I'm going to show you how to activate Windows 10 or 11 uh, with just one simple command uh, I'm going to show you how to do this so feel free to ask if you don't get to work this how to fix video so first of all we need this command and we need to put this command on uh, PowerShell or Terminal and here you can see this is the terminal on Windows 11 open in terminal, terminal or you can just simply right click on Windows icon and click on this terminal admin and press it on here or you can uh, you can write here powershell and run as administrator which will work both ways so here we are gonna copy this command and paste it here after that we are just gonna run this command so here you see here is a interface where we can see the activation methods so if you if we want to windows uh, if we want to activate windows only windows we can we need to press on 4 on keyboard it's 4 uh, if we want to activate both windows and office we need to press on 5 so uh, first of all i'm gonna show you that if my windows has already activated or not so I'm gonna press on six, and you can see here that I've already activated my Windows, which will expire on uh, uh, 17th, 11th, uh, 17th November on uh, 2025. So if we press any key to go back, which we're gonna do, and again we're gonna press on five to activate both Windows and Office. So here we have the interface where we can we we have the options to activate only Windows or Office or project by Visio version of the Office or we can activate all. So here we're gonna activate all. We are gonna click on four and it will it will work automatically. processing yeah Windows 11 is successfully activated for 180 days mm. okay it's done so we're gonna check again to see our expiration expiration expiry date has been improved or not so we're gonna uh, click on zero to go back and you're gonna press on six to check the activation so you can see the volume ex uh, volume activation will expire on 2026 on uh, 6th February so that's it one thing I'm gonna mention that this will not work if you uh, if you insert this code on CMD I'm gonna show you in one minute so CMD if you run as ra if you run this as run ad administrator it will not work so here is the code this is the command you see it will not recognize but it will work on PowerShell that's it thank you everyone feel free to comment down below if it works or not and do like this video. Thank you.